start with John, then we'll go to Brian. Micah, you guys made the big push at the beginning uh, and then Purdue got back into it. What changed from that standpoint? You know what, that's something that um, I talked about at halftime, right? Probably a rookie mistake by me because we were moving the basketball, we were in a good flow. Um, and then like I forced us to be too stagnant by trying to run more ball screen stuff and get switches and attack, right? We did it, we had success, but then the ball stuck. Uh, you see at the end when we got down, we went back to playing that way. Now the ball's moving, we were playing at a faster pace. We are getting to the rim a little better. So, um, you know, I gotta be better. I gotta help those guys be better, continue to play the right way. Um, and we will, you know, it's like, Learning, learning experiences as you go. That's why I'm you know, happy that those guys put their trust in me and help me go through my rookie mistakes a little bit. Brian in the middle left. Mike, I'm wondering if you could give us an idea of what you said to Brandon Newman after the game. That like, that kid, man. Um, like I, I spent so much time with him, right? In his red shirt year. Um, just being in the gym, working out, just doing a lot of stuff together. Like he was always around. He'd go with me to watch Braden play. Like we spent so much time together in those couple of years and, uh, you know, in good times and bad times. And when we played them early, um, you know, I talked to him, but then different times throughout the year, I just shoot him a text and try and encourage him, keep his head up, right? You know, you go through tough times all the time, but, if you're thinking about those tough times, you're not ready for your moment. You're not ready for your opportunity. Um, you know, he was ready for his moment tonight. So I stopped him in the huddle and I was like, man, I was encouraging you all that and you do that to me. Some friends you are, but I'm happy for that kid, man. He, he earned it, he deserved it. He kept his head up, um, so good for him. All right, we'll go to Kyle on the right-hand side and we'll take two Zoom questions. Hey, Mike, uh, Kyle Babcock, Sports Pro Media. Obviously, Indy's home for you. Um, so many people rooting for you that I talked to. What was it like for you to come home and, and be so proud and perform so well in front of the home crowd and so many friends and family? Yeah, it, it, you know, it's it's always fun to, to be back here, right? I, I got to thank, you know, my wife and Nick Colella for handling all the ticket stuff and doing that for me so I could really just focus on our guys and concentrate on that. And, uh, but just seeing the support, it's great to be here. Like I've grown up coming to this event, coming to this tournament, and now getting a chance to be on the sidelines, like coaching in this. Um, like I'm, I'm completely like, I still pinch myself sometimes, right? You look down the sideline and like what Coach Painter's done at Purdue and the impact that he's had in the Big Ten I, and I get a chance to stand on the sideline and try and compete against him. Like, I just want my teams to play as hard as they do. I want my teams to play as hard as Michigan State's teams do. Like, that's how you honor the Big Ten. And I hope we did that. I hope people that watched this felt that way, that we honored the Big Ten the right way. And we'll be back. We'll be back. We're going to keep playing like this. And, um, you know, so it's great to be here. Um, we're looking forward to coming back again. Yeah. On Zoom, we'll go to Andrew Clay. Go ahead, Andrew. Hey, Coach. Um, this could be a really, really sad moment. I know there's a lot of sad sadness in losing, but there feels like a little bit of almost a celebration of a family and 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 almost love between you and the players. I mean, you guys are all just. There just seems to be something here. Like, what does that say about what you're able to accomplish in just one season? Um. You're right about that first part, about it being a tough moment, right? I wasn't this chipper immediately after the game in the locker room. I it just, you know, I, I'm, I feel bad for our guys. Like they were hurt. They were hurt, man. We, we've, we lost 17 games. This is, a, you know, ended up getting to eight, but look at the games that we lost that were close. Like the amount of teams that we played with and fought toe-to-toe, toe to toe. Um, you know, that's the one thing I told those guys is that resiliency that you showed on the basketball court is going to show up for you at some point in time in your life. Um, 
people counted us out from the moment I got here. And you don't listen to anybody else's expectations but your own. And I felt like those guys, that's how they played. That's how they conducted themselves. That's how they acted. Um, it wasn't anybody else's expectations. It was our own. And no matter what our record looks like, I'm proud of, of what we did, how we fought. When we were down, we, we always came back. Um, so like, that's going to carry on for those guys in life. Um, that's going to carry on this program. That's who I want us to be. And, you know, we'll be back. Like I said, we'll be back again. We'll be back again next year. We might have some new faces, but we're going to have some old faces. I don't remember this moment. Remember how it feels right now because you have to go through this to get where you want to get. All right, last question for Coach will come from Daniel Gallon on Penn Live. Daniel, go ahead. Hey, Micah, um, what are you kind of looking at in the next few days? Uh, what's next? I know Jalen said that he's going to come back next year. Um, what's kind of the decision timeline for the other guys? And if the CVI or something like that comes up, what would be kind of the, the timeline for something like that? I just want to get back to the hotel, crack with Dr. Pepper, take my shoes off, <laughs> chill for a little bit. This season's been a grind, man. The first time through it. And uh, you guys know, first of all, how much, like, how much I love Coach Painter and being around Coach Painter. He talks about the end of the season, and I'm taking his motto because when we get home tomorrow, I'm going to put my pajamas on with the feet in them. And I'm gonna lay on the couch and I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna watch these games, right? It sucks that we're not playing, but I'm gonna watch them and I'm gonna decompress for a little bit. And then I can move on to what's next. We got five guys that are signed with us that we're excited about, um, you know, our class that's coming. We got some decisions that'll be made from some older guys, but um, we got an opportunity to have a bunch of the guys that we're playing back again next year. So, you know, continue to work defensively, get better in that area, figure out how to score a few more points. Um, enjoy my Dr. Pepper and cheer for Purdue. All right. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I got one in my bag. 